What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you another special video, the Sunday Stock Watch List. Uh, so today we're going to talk about a few different things. We'll review what happened last week and uh, we'll go ahead and start with that. But before we start this video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see on this channel. If we get 200 likes, I'll upload my 200 plus thousand uh, watch collection to this channel and a lot of... Uh, a lot of other videos. I want to do a car review for the McLaren. There's so many different videos that I want to. So hit that hit that like button, subscribe, comment down what other videos you guys would like to see. Comment down below what other stocks you would like me to talk about. So uh, obviously I have my watches. I like to you know take some input from other people. So uh, that's that. Any more information obviously in the description below. So that's that. Let's talk about the schedule. So I obviously provide the schedule for you guys so you guys what's in, you guys know what's going on uh, on a weekly basis economically you guys have Charles uh, speaking Monday May 10th at 8:30 a.m. you know you have the jobless claims 8:30 you have treasury statement at 2 p.m. on Wednesday uh, you know it's always good to know what's going on so that you know what you're trading through so if you guys want a clearer picture just go to my trading account on Instagram it's down in the description trade like nor and it will be there now we got a lot of the earnings out the way. We got a lot of big ones out the way. So now we have a few here that we'll be talking about. You know, you have Marriott, uh, you have Wish, you know, uh, Disney. So there are a lot of, you know, obviously other companies reporting. These aren't companies I'm really looking, you know, really look into a lot. You know, that I think this is Canada Goose. Uh, but a lot of people do like to play these different types of stocks. Oh. I've played this before. Palantir reports, Fubo, whatever, how you, however you pronounce that. But uh, there are a few stocks here that, you know, I've seen Roblox, you know, uh, NVAX, Nova, Novavax, whatever. I think their ticker symbol is NVAX. But yeah, so there are a few stocks here. You know, obviously no blue chips here. You, EA, EA moves. Um, I've seen a a couple big earnings from EA, whether to the downside or to the upside. DoorDash reports. So these are all cool stocks to be looking at. The Trade Desk is one of those uh, stocks to be looking at. Workhorse. So there's definitely a few stocks. These aren't the biggest stocks on the market, obviously, but these are some cool stocks to keep an eye on. I would love to see what Trade Desk they they had a very good year last year. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the video real quick. All right, last week trade of the week, I had 515 break. Uh, on Netflix room up to 520. I think we got very close to that. We hit 519. I ended up catching this move uh, and it had I had a very nice day that day with Netflix. Uh, I know a lot of people on Twitter uh, saw that trade and uh, commented on it. So that was the highlight of last week. Not much happened last week. Oh, you know what happened last week? We'll talk about it in the video. FedEx. This I've been taking this trade a lot this week uh the fedex trade this has moved from 291 pre-market of monday all the way up to 315 so we're up about what 25 dollars for the week pretty sick week on fedex's part but yeah uh we'll, we'll talk more about that so the first thing i'm going to talk about this week is tesla right obviously my chart on my mac i talk about this all the time it's so many lines here but you guys can see this downtrend going on here right so we have this downtrend going on from the top side. We have it on the bottom side here. Uh, and it's, you know, it's just consolidating with the market. Even if you put this on the four hour, you get a bigger downtrend from the top side right here from all the way from, what is this? 780, 785 all the way down here. So we're following this downtrend. I want to see, obviously I will be playing this to the downside. I'm looking at below 650 for the downside, but for the upside, I want to see if we can get, uh, above this downtrend here for the break above 700 so we'll be able to see if this downtrend actually means anything so i'm looking at this downtrend if we can actually break this to the upside i will be watching 700 and for the downside i will be watching 650 but you do need to keep in mind that on the one hour we do have this trend line which is around 644 by monday it'll be around you know 640 whatever the case may be but keep an eye on that downtrend uh so that you know if this is going to bounce because every time it's touched this downtrend it has bounced so tesla's the first one uh amazon it's been an epic fail since earnings uh as far as the chart so you can see 3667 we hit a low of 3240 so uh you know a 400 dollar difference if i'm not mistaken here uh on amazon so if i put this back on the one hour or even the four hour so you guys can see the one hour we have this 
uh, downtrend going on or the trend from the bottom sign I could say even if I put this on the four hour right this does look bearish right we keep making this low we bounce we make a newer low we're bouncing here and let's see if we end up making it H and crack through 3250 so for the downside I will be watching 3250 uh, and see if we can actually get a nice little sell off from there and then from there I will be watching um, around 3210 area 3200 when Amazon moves with the market it moves uh, so we'll see so that's Amazon Facebook you know ever since it's had a it had amazing earnings right the chart has done nothing really since it's been uh, it had it hit a high of 33 32 332 and then came down to 313 obviously you had some uh, profit taking the market did pull back as well so it does make sense why this ended up pulling back so it's okay that it's pulled back it's not unhealthy at all as you guys can see we do still have an uptrend going on here from the bottom side and the top side on the four hour uh, let's see how it looks on the one hour yeah, the one hour is just consolidating, but let's see if we put this on the four hour. I will be watching this to this top side. So this week, um, I will be watching it. If you guys were in my chat, I did announce that we had a gap to the downside and we did end up catching this. So look, you guys can see the one hour gap. This ended up falling from 321 all the way down to like 312, 313. Uh, but on the four hour, I am watching this on the break of the high and then I'm looking for this to push to around 335 and then from there I'm looking at 340 for Facebook. So that's what I'm looking at for that one. FedEx, like I said, this has been amazing. I love this chart. Uh, I've been taking advantage of this almost every single day. I don't. I think there was one day I didn't play FedEx, but every day I've been taking advantage of FedEx. Friday was even sick. It was up a percent, $3.73, but I'm looking for the 315 break. So hopefully this doesn't open above. Even if it does, I'll find a play on it. Uh, but we are at all time highs here and I will be looking uh, for this 315 break. If we break that, I'm looking for 320 as my target. And from there, I will be the judge of that because we are at all time highs. So there aren't no specific numbers right now that I'm looking at above 320. But we have Facebook, FedEx, now look at Baba. Last week I said I don't want, I'm going to just mention it just in case it does happen, but I don't think it will happen. If you guys look at this on the one year, we have this wedge going on. It's getting tighter and tighter and tighter, but you can see we're, you know, hugging the downside here, the, the, well, the bottom side at least, which is the uptrend from the bottom here. And then, you know, we've touched the top a few times and it is going to keep getting tighter and tighter. So if it doesn't happen this week as well, uh, you know, I did mention it, but if it does happen, you guys can see what we're looking at. The first thing I will be looking at is the 220 break. And then from there, I will be looking at the 211 and change right here. Uh, but yeah, Baba can either break from the downside or to the upside. I'm not bullish or bearish. Just because I name the upside, uh, you know, targets that I have. You know, for example, uh, what did I just say? FedEx. I'm looking at the 315 break. If we don't get a 315 break, that doesn't mean I'm still playing FedEx. It just means... If we get a 315 break, I will be looking at the upside. I'm not here to be bullish or bearish on any stock. I don't care. When things happen, I take advantage of it. If it doesn't happen, I don't care about it. Simple. Uh, for Baba, I am looking at the 220 break to the downside. Obviously, I will be looking at 240 for the upside. So we'll see which one happens first. But like I said, we're hugging the bottom side. So I do want to mention it just in case we end up breaking to the downside. But usually, we'll probably get a bounce. That's Baba on the one year. Now, something I do want to talk about, but actually, let me name one more stock that I'm looking at. Uh, Snow. So this is interesting, right? This stock had an IPO back in September of 2020. We hit a high of like 318 and ended up pushing to 430, whatever the case may be. This is the lowest we've been since IPO day. So we had a couple days where we consolidated and then took off, but this is the lowest. So I will be watching Snow. I'm not sure how these contracts are moving. Uh, so I will be looking at that. Let me see if we have some liquid contracts here. Uh, yeah, these contracts don't look like they're going to be liquid, but if the contracts do end up being liquid, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, but if the contracts end up do being become liquid, I will be playing this to the downside. I'm looking at the 192 break to the downside here or the 190 break. Uh, obviously we did break this to the top side, but haven't done anything that's bearish to me. Uh, like I said, doesn't matter that I'm bearish on it or bullish. If it doesn't happen, I don't care about it. So I'm looking at 192, 190 to the downside. If this starts cracking below, we'll probably start seeing newer lows and newer lows every day here, uh, especially since we're lower than IPO day here. Um, but that's no. 
Uh, what I do want to talk about is NQ. NQ, uh, for simple matters, I know a lot of you guys look at QQQ. You can probably do the same thing on QQQ. Uh, it's the NASDAQ here. So let me look at the, uh, we're on the one year. So as you guys can see, we're hugging this, right? There's a trend here that I had and I was watching this week and we ended up bouncing off of it again. So let me put this on the four hour, maybe you'll get a better visual. So we broke this trend and now we're here at this bottom trend here. So we broke, we even broke this one on the algo and we ended up coming down here. We're hugging this trend, one bounce, two bounce, right? Three bounce, four, five, six. So we've touched this line about six times now. What I'm paying attention to is this going to come back down and break through finally. And if we do, I do have a move here, which is the next trend right here from one. We bounce here twice. I will be watching that 12,900 level. I know that's pretty far and it's pretty steep. Uh, so obviously it bouncing before it gets to that level is 100% realistic. But that is something to keep in mind here. If it does get aggressive, uh, I will be watching it. The thing to keep in mind though, NASDAQ is struggling big time. And when I say big time, technically it's been big time in the past, you know, week or whatever, but obviously we're, we're not that far away from all time highs. So don't, don't, um, don't think we're just crashing here. In the meantime, SPY S and P 500 is making all time highs, right? So I want you guys to keep that in mind when looking at you know, NQ as SPY keeps running, you know, it's going to probably keep NQ up for the meantime. But once SPY loses that momentum and NQ doesn't have, you know, the S&P 500, you know, holding the market up, uh, we're probably going to break that trend. And since NQ doesn't have any momentum behind it, we're probably going to break through, which kind of sucks uh, because it's going to break, bring down a lot of stocks with it. But like I said, I love making money on days where the markets actually I actually make more when the market uh, is falling, uh, you know, or just having, you know, a couple bad days. So we'll talk about that. We'll keep I'll keep you guys updated on the NQ thing. Uh, follow Trade Like Nor because I talk more and keep you guys updated throughout the week because I don't make, you know, a Tuesday with stock watch list or a Wednesday. You get the Sunday stock watch list and then you might get some updates on my Instagram, which is Trade Like Nor or my Twitter, which you'll find in the description uh, or if obviously you're in my chat, but that's a daily thing. So. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below, comment down below what other videos you would like to see, uh, and comment down below what other stocks are you guys looking at for this week? Maybe I'll do some, uh, you know, searching right after this video when I see these comments. So I'll see you guys. Peace.